Hey friends, Ash here with Gent Sense. And today I'm coming at you guys with five extremely long lasting fragrances. So these are fragrances that are gonna last you a minimum of 10 hours. And most of these are actually going to last much longer than that. I've got niche fragrances today, designer fragrances, expensive fragrances, and cheap fragrances. So we're kind of running the whole gamut here. We've got a lot of information to talk about, a lot of fragrances to talk about, so let's jump into this. First off, I wanna mention a fragrance that is kind of an honorable mention. I didn't have this fragrance in when I actually did this list up originally, so that's why it's not on it. But I have obviously gotten a bottle in, I've given it wear, I've actually done a full review of this, and I think that it deserves to be mentioned. And it's this fragrance, Gaia by Centauri Perfumes. For those of you that are unaware, Centauri Perfumes is actually a fragrance brand that was launched by a YouTuber, Peter at Fragrance View. Like I said, I've already done a review on this fragrance, so you can check that out if you want a little more information. But this fragrance lasts forever on my skin. If I spray this on first thing in the morning, like let's say 8 a.m., then when I go to bed at night, I can still smell it on my hand, crook of my elbow, wherever it is that I sprayed it on. Stuff lasts forever, like, uh, like in the sandlot, forever. Whoever gets that, you get a point. If you don't get that, Shame on you, watch this hand lot. This has a honey note that lasts a very, very long time. It's got a good touch of sweetness to it. it. Smells fantastic. A lot of green notes in there as well. Like I said, I've done a full review. If you want more information, check that out. Now on to the official five fragrances in this video. First up is a Parfums de Marly release. This one is a, like a special edition or a flanker release, whatever you want to call it. It is Leighton Exclusif, and yeah, I totally almost just chucked that behind my shoulder. So yes, Leighton Exclusif, the Exclusif version of Leighton. This one has oud, guyac wood, civet, coffee, and almond as some of the notes in the fragrance. And if you're very familiar with Leighton, the original, you'll know that Leighton does not have most of those notes. There is no oud in Leighton. There's no civet in Leighton. There's no coffee in Leighton. Most people remember apple and the sweet spices from Leighton. Leighton Exclusive, though, takes the Leighton DNA in a different direction. It makes it darker, makes it more animalic, not as sweet. Parfums de Marly actually described Leighton, the original, as a fresh and sporty fragrance. Now, I don't necessarily smell Leighton and think to myself, that's what I want to wear when I'm at the gym. You know, when I'm working up a huge sweat in high heat is Parfums de Marly Leighton. It's a little bit uh, rich, a little bit too dense for those situations, I think, but that's how Parfums de Marly described Leighton. And then with Leighton Exclusif, they basically said, uh, we're gonna take that DNA and make it deeper and darker and more seductive and sexy and like I said, animalic. And that is pretty much what they did. Apple is not a note officially in Leighton Exclusif, which again, like I said, it's one of the main things people recognize from Leighton. Now, depending on who you ask, people will still say, oh, I definitely get Apple in Leighton Exclusif, but officially it's not there. And with those changes that have been done to the DNA of Leighton in Leighton Exclusif, it has taken the performance, which is already good, very good in Leighton, and ramped it up even further. Leighton Exclusif will last all day and all night. It has enormous longevity for me and is one of the more powerful fragrances off my skin that we're going to talk about today. Basically with Leighton Exclusif, a couple sprays, you're gonna be good to go. It does have a lot of the compliment factor and versatility that Leighton does, though for some people, that darker take, that more animalic take that Leighton Exclusif has is not preferable to the original Leighton, though, some people actually will find Leighton Exclusif to be a better fragrance because it does take things in a darker direction. And some people will interpret that as Leighton Exclusive being higher quality. It really just depends on what you like in fragrances. I've heard from a lot of people 
that Leighton excludes Cephas from them and Leighton isn't, and I've heard vice versa. But if you're looking for a monstrous performer that can pull compliments, that works great in cooler weather, check out Leighton Exclusive. Next up is a designer fragrance that's been talked about in a lot of YouTubers lists for great performance. And it's this one, Armani Code Profumo. It has tonka, amber, leather, and cardamom as some of the notes, and it does share pretty strong <laughs> similarities to Armani Code Ultimate and also Armani Code Absolute. I own both of those fragrances. They actually sit right back here. And uh, there is an obvious similarity. When you spray Absolute, Ultimate, or Profumo on, the opening in each one of those fragrances does have a common DNA, it has a common thread. Code Profumo does have a very well-known root beer kind of scent to it. It's got this sparkly effervescent sweetness. And personally, that's my favorite part of the entire scent. It's a big compliment puller. It's versatile for the most part, as long as it's cool weather or you're not going too heavy in situations where you're going to be around a lot of people. It's a good night out fragrance. It's a good date night fragrance. Uh, but the performance on this one makes it as such that you probably don't want to go too heavy on the trigger unless you're just trying to be that cologne guy and get massive amounts of attention, uh, which could turn out to be the wrong kind of attention if you're choking people out and making them have reactions to the fragrance that you're wearing by having coughing fits, for example. This fragrance is, in general, very well liked in the community. If you go to Fragrantica, you'll see a lot of love for this fragrance. I mean, it has its detractors like any fragrance will, uh, but there's a lot of love for this one. And in the YouTube community, seems to get a lot of love there as well. For me, longevity is 10 plus hours on that one. It's not as strong as Leighton Exclusif, but as far as designers that have come out over the past few years, that one is one of the better performers. Next up, I have a Mancera fragrance. Now, Mancera and Montal are very well known for being affordable niche fragrances that typically have beast mode performance. This one is no different. It is Sand Oud. This has spices, black currant, and of course, oud as some of the main notes in the fragrance. The black currant gives it a little bit of a bitter or tart kind of sweetness, a little bit of fruitiness in there. And then you have a lot of spices that mix in with the oud. The oud in this fragrance to me does not come across overly medicinal or funky. Uh, it's pretty easy to wear as far as Mancera or Montal oud fragrances go, in my opinion. Sometimes, especially with Montal, the oud that they use will come across really screechy. So it'll be kind of abrasive in your face, very strong, overwhelming sometimes, but you don't have that issue with this one. The reason I keep bringing up Mancera and Montal in case you're unaware and you can look this up for more information is that those two companies are essentially intertwined. They're close to being one and the same, though they're really not. They do things a bit differently, each one of them, but ultimately they are intertwined. Like I said, that is a pretty easy oud fragrance to wear for the most part, as long as you wear it in the correct situations. So don't wear it heavily and go to the office. It's probably not gonna work very well for you. If it's very hot outside, don't spray that on heavily because then it's gonna project too much. It's gonna be cloying. People aren't going to enjoy the way that it smells. But as long as you wear it with common sense, easy to pull off and versatile as far as Mancera oud fragrances go. It does sweeten up a little bit as it dries down, and then you get some additional notes that come in there like patchouli, incense, and saffron that work in with the oud. Like I said, monstrous performance, sand oud, last and last and last and last and last, and it has good projection as well. Next up is a Bond number no. nine. It has been a long time since I've talked about a Bond number no. nine on this channel. I've got a bunch of them over here. I actually scooped them up years ago, and uh, figured it's time to work another Bond number no. nine into a video and this one is a good choice. It is bondnumber9.com by Bond number nine. Now this one, in case you're unaware, is a Creed Aventus type fragrance. It's got pineapple, apple, juniper, and black currant as some of the notes. So if you're familiar with Aventus's note breakdown, some of those are gonna look pretty familiar to you or sound pretty familiar to you. This fragrance, monstrous in terms of longevity. If you have issues with Aventus in terms of longevity on your skin, uh, modern batches of Aventus, some people will say that they get terrible performance projection longevity from Aventus nowadays. Other people say uh, that they get fantastic performance. So I'm not gonna tell you one way or the other which way to think on that. This one has great 
performance. So if you have that issue and you say, oh, Aventus doesn't last on me, you may want to check this one out. Now, while I said that this is very similar to Aventus, it's not the exact same. It comes across like an overly fruity batch of Aventus, a very fruity, sweet batch. There's no smoke here. There's no birch. So if you're the type of guy that likes a really smoky, kind of heavy-handed Aventus batch, this may not be what you're looking for in an Aventus type scent because this very much keeps things on the fruity sweet side. Another thing, bondnumber9.com will not come across smelling as natural as Aventus. It's gonna come across a little more synthetic. I think that it smells fantastic. I personally have no issue whatsoever with bondnumber9.com the way it comes across. I think it smells great. It's very versatile, it's compliment pulling, it lasts forever. The longevity is monstrous on this, but if you're looking for something that's going to come across hyper natural or something that's going to have a heavy hand again with the smoke, this is not for you. A lot of people though will find this more accessible than Aventus due to that fruity sweet nature that this one puts across. And that is going to take us to our last one in this list. And it's actually the cheapest one of the bunch. We've had some expensive niche ones. Uh, we have one designer so far, this will make it two. Uh, this one you can pick up, I believe in the $20 range, maybe even below $20, and it will last 12 plus hours without issue. It's this one, Ferrari Scuderia Forte. Or is it just Scuderia Ferrari Forte? I guess that's what it is, Scuderia Ferrari Forte. This one also has pineapple and apple, like bond9.com, but it is a completely different scent. This is not at all an Aventus type scent. The main notes from this that you're gonna pick up are gonna be plum, vanilla, and cinnamon. Some people compare this to Givenchy Gentleman Only Absolute. I don't know that I would say that this smells like that fragrance does, but some people out there have drawn that comparison. This is a fruity, sweet, and spicy fragrance. As I said, plum gonna be one of the main things that you pick up here. That's the main fruit that this puts across, along with a powdery vanilla and some cinnamon spice. So with that note breakdown there, if you just kind of forget about all the other notes, which I mean, you really shouldn't, but plum, vanilla, cinnamon, it's gonna let you know when you should wear this fragrance, fall, winter, cooler weather. To me, it comes across more as a youthful kind of scent. It doesn't come across like a gentlemanly, type scent, not sophisticated or anything like that. It's because of that sweetness, the way the sweetness comes across. Now, some people will call it a synthetic sweetness and uh, they're not really wrong by saying that, but that does kind of almost sound like you're taking a shot at the fragrance. So when I mention that sweetness coming across a little bit synthetic, I don't mean it in a derogatory way toward the scent. For a $20 fragrance, it's a solid pickup. I don't think that quality wise, it's quite on par with the Ferrari Essence collection, which is going to have like Noble Fig, for example, uh, Radiant Bergamot, and all of those fragrances, the ones that get hyped up typically when we're talking about Ferrari. I don't think this is quite on those fragrances level, it's just below it. But this one is a very solid, sweet, semi-gourmandy fragrance. And uh, if you're looking for something that's gonna last forever in cooler weather, then check this one out. Again though, like I said, be aware that it is gonna be almost a little sticky sweet at times, and it is more for younger guys in my opinion. That being said, if you're an older guy and you like fragrances like this, absolutely wear it, who cares? All right guys, that's gonna do it for me with five, I guess technically six, extremely long lasting fragrances. Most of these fragrances are better suited for uh, cooler weather. A lot of times that's because those cooler weather fragrances are a little bit denser, richer, a little bit heavier, and that tends to last longer than your more citrus centric warm weather fragrances. So occasionally you do run into ones like this one, bondnumber9.com that are great for spring and summer and last forever. I wanna thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. Thanks for all of your support. Couldn't do this without you. And I'll see you guys again tomorrow with another fragrance video. I'll see you guys.